Hi guys, Justin Brown here. What's wrong with the colors in this video? I see this time and time again with content producers putting out videos and either they've got poor lighting or the settings in the cameras or their phones aren't right for the conditions they're filming in. So they end up with a video that looks something like this. So today I'm gonna to take you through how you can adjust this in ScreenFlow quite easily. So here we are in ScreenFlow. I've got the footage imported. We'll start out by clicking on the clip that we want to adjust the color on and coming over to our video panel here. Now you'll see we do have some color controls here which will do your saturation, brightness and contrast but I'll run through those in a minute. The best place to start with a clip like this where the color is clearly out of place is under your video filters and white point adjustment which is under color adjustment white point adjustment add so you can see already it's it's done like an automatic color adjustment based off the color white and where where the the shot thinks that the color white should be in relation to the other colors in the shot so we can come in and adjust this if we want to tweak it a bit we can we can move it around really sort of we're playing with the color point in this shot what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave it exactly where it was because that was pretty good so we undo that and we close back out. So just adding the white point adjustment. In a lot of cases, automatic is fine. You won't need to touch it any further. From there, another filter that we can add is obviously the shot's looking a bit dark. We probably want to adjust the exposure. So the exposure is your brightness. You can see automatically straight out. That's a much brighter shot. We can turn these on and off here so you can see the difference. So that's with the exposure. And this is your white point. So you can see just with those two settings on alone, it's already looking much cleaner. So then we can tweak things like your saturation to maybe make some of the colors pop out a bit more. This is a really sensitive setting, so you really don't need to adjust it much in order to actually bring out the colors. So you can see the moment I sort of hit 20 to 30%, it's probably too much. So maybe 115. Again, we can adjust the brightness slightly. It's probably perfect the way it is. And again, you've got your contrast. So color correction is really a personal thing. You wanna make sure that you're setting the colors to give off the mood to match the video content or the feel that you want the viewer to have while they're watching your video. So with all of these things, they're all personal preference. So have a play around. You can see you get a totally different feel, some even some different looking effects just by playing with some of these settings. So another one we'll add on here is vibrance. That's one that's very similar to saturation. So what we might do is wind down saturation just a touch. So we're still up 104%. So we're 4% above where we started. I'll add on one called vibrance. What that does is it's very similar, as I said, to saturation. It'll boost the colors. Obviously, you can wind it right up. But what it does generally is it's more specific to skin tones and skin colors. So you can actually just bring out some skin color there with, again, a minor adjustment. But at 0.2, the colors are just a little bit more vibrant, I suppose, is the word, if we're adding a vibrance filter. So and that's looking pretty good. I've just got the white point adjustment, your exposure adjustment, and your vibrance up slightly. I did also tweak the saturation. I left the brightness alone, but I've increased the contrast just a little bit as well. So as you can see, it's amazing how a few simple editing steps can make your videos look so much more professional. I look forward to seeing your color corrected videos on YouTube in the future.